for our next keynote speech, it is my great pleasure um, to invite Enrique Blanco, the global CTIO of Telefonica, to deliver his keynote presentation. Um, who better to hear from about fiber deployment the, than the actual doer of fiber deployment achieving fantastic results in the Spanish market? Enrique, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <clears throat> So, first of all, uh, thank you very much for this kind of invitation. So, proud to try to explain what Telefonica think about the fiber deployment. For sure in Spain, but what we are doing in the worldwide operation than when we are today. So, let me start. So, if you see what means, so there is a lot of people that they are talking about fiber. In Telefonica, we are proud. We do not talk about fiber. We are deploying fiber. And to deploy fiber, it is not only to get the technology, it is not only to get the capabilities in the train, it is to define processes, it is to define tools, it is to go much more close to the customer, it is to look in the end-to-end -end approach of what fiber means for the customer. So a good example, Roran, so Wi-Fi. So maybe sometimes we are not deploying fiber, we are deploying Wi-Fi for our customers. So and this applies to the B2C and this applies to the B2B. So here is something which is clear for us. This is the Spanish case of the fiber deployment of Telefonica. What had been the effort of Telefonica de España? So we were in 2011 around 1.6 million of home passes. Today we are up to 20 million of home passes in the Spanish premises when we are operating. So this is what we have been doing with the technical commercial staff of Telefonica de España and with all our partners, that means contractors, vendors of technology and so on. As a result of this big effort, so if you compare when Telefonica in Spain it is today, so we have enough fiber if you decide to compare, we are, if you are adding all the big countries from Europe, so we are bigger and we have a huge operation more than we are adding all the main countries when we are. And this is evolution. And this is an excellent situation for the society digitalization, who finally it means how the customer can perceive the access to the digital services. This is key for the society development. But which are the key enablers? So because it is only to get the technology, it is only to get the capabilities to buy technology. Now, this is mandatory, but it is not enough. So you need to do something more. First of all, how is Spain it is today in the civil engineering infrastructure? And this means ducts and how we are managing these ducts and trying to guarantee that you can reach with the external plan your customer. And Telefonica has an excellent position. It is because the investment that Telefonica had been doing in Spain in the past. This is not lucky. This is effort. This is CapEx. The second one, it is the technology leadership. So we have been looking for all the technology, looking the best technology when it exists. If it doesn't exist, we have been creating this technology. And I will be giving examples following the Wi-Fi capabilities. If the technology doesn't exist, we have been working trying to do this technology exist, creating our own capabilities and leading the industry trying to guarantee that the customer perceives what fiber means. We have been analyzing when we need to be and when we need to maintain the knowledge in our own people. So this means tools, processes, knowledge, and how we can use the machine learning and the capabilities of automatization of the tools and how we can guarantee that the operation will be successful. In the past, if you see what happened in any other countries, there is a lot of people that they try to do fiber deployment unsuccessfully. This is not only technology, it is technology, it is processes, it is knowledge, it is tools, it is customer perspective and customer approach. For sure, the regulatory framework that has been helping us trying to deploy never is enough, but we need to go because there is still a percentage of customers that need to be, they need to reach the fiber, and this is maybe the much more difficult to do it. So how in Spain we have been managing the uh, convergence uh, commercial approach so with Fusion and how the market consolidation had been uh, pushing to the market trying to deploy the fiber capabilities. 
If you see in the right, so which is the, the uh, when we are today, so the 66 percent of the, our customer, they can reach 300 megabits symmetric. Our equipment, our equipment can fully support up to 600 megabits, but it is what we have today, growing. So how many customers they are getting TV approach with some video capabilities and with the capabilities trying to reach so this excellent uh, uh, connectivity. So how many customers they are doing infusion and 91% of our customers have a unique access. And this is absolutely mandatory trying to offer our customer services fiber for services. So TV, Wi-Fi excellent and so on. In Telefonica, we have an obsession. It is how we can be much more efficient. So efficiency has no limits. You can improve always. And we are in an excellent condition, so trying to guarantee that this is going to happen today and in the future. So if you see how have been evolving the connected coast and the passive coast for the fiber, we have been doing an excellent so. Uh, line so decreasing and decreasing and decreasing, getting volume, getting processes, getting tool, getting the right partner, getting training. So putting together all the skills that we need to do, trying to guarantee that this is happening. So we see today that going to the rest of the country, so the coast, they will be not going so good because we are going to reach the much more difficult customer. And it will be difficult trying to reach and to maintain this line. So, but we need to work from the technical point of view, trying to guarantee that we will be one of the key operators in terms of cost. But this is not only for Spain. So we are, you will see what we are doing in the rest of the countries and how we are getting feedback trying to help to maintain this line if this is feasible. When we decide that in Spain the fiber it is key and the LTE it is key, so we took exactly the same coherent decision for the rest of our operation. So we decide that all the operation when we are today with the fixed capabilities, they will be getting all the experience, all the knowledge, all the capabilities, all the vendor experience that we have in Spain, trying to go through the rest of the market and trying to get these benefits. So. We have been offering to all our uh, operations, so cross-functional end-to-end diagnosis. So it is key trying to get a customer view from the point of view of the network uh, um, KPIs, trying to define what's about the global best practices. And this applies to the model, how you are managing your contractors, how you are managing your vendors, how you're managing your tools, what's about the training that you need to do to all the technical guys that they are in the field or in the customer premises. And we did it our room approach. We have been doing an alignment for all the operation when we are getting the experience that we have in Spain. We are very proud trying to work like a single company, as a global company, so trying to guarantee that all the experience that we have in Spain, it is going to be translated to the rest of the operation when we are. And let me say, Telefonica, it is not only leading in Spain the FTTH deployment. We are leading in Brazil, we are leading in Argentina, we are leading in Chile, and we are leading in Colombia, because Telefonic has a very, very, very clear thinking. Fiber, it is the future for our customers, and, and we cannot compete if we don't have a fiber approach in the countries when we are operating. So this is applicable for Spain, for sure, that they were leading this project, but Telefonica has a coherent and consistent thinking. And this is because, as you see, so in 2017, we did more than 1.5 million, 1.5 million of home passes in Brazil. We are doing more than half a million in Argentina. And this year, we will be doing around half a million of home passes in Chile. And if you go to Chile, if you go to Argentina, if you go to Brazil, or you go to Valencia, and a customer of Telefonica, so it is exactly the same approach. The same end-to-end the same -end process, the same equipment, the same customer premises equipment. So it is a global operation when all the experience of Spain, it is helping us trying to go to the rest of the country to, to offer a better experience for our customer. And we have a feedback trying to help to all the operation when we are. This is not about technology. 
It is about how you are operating your customer and what's about the customer experience. It is the only important because the customer sometimes it is not acquiring fiber. Maybe sometimes they are acquiring Wi-Fi in all the rooms that they have at home. And it is just impossible to offer the quality if you don't have the fiber in the technology. So you can see that we have been reaching a very similar quality that we have in Spain, in Brazil, in less than nine months. Maybe you can think that it is pure cost reduction. No, it is quality of experience for the customer. How you can divide the complaints that the customer has, how you can do this in an end-to-end -end approach, and how you are building a common experience. If you see, we have been the leverages in terms of the practices that Telefonica has been applying in all the market, getting all the experience for Spain, it is the loop contract implementation. So we have been working in a single kind of contract. So we don't pay for activity. Maybe you say, what means fiber? With how do you pay? So it is very important. If you are looking for quality, this is not only the technology and the external plan and the, and the rest. It is how you are managing the people that they are working with you as a partner. So, and we are migrating in all the experience that we have in Spain have been applied to the rest of the countries. So we have a quality plan. So in all the countries, when we, they are starting, we are very proud of this. They are looking, what's about the quality of Spain? How we can get these numbers and these KPIs? And what are the levers that the people of Spain they are doing? And we are very proud because all the people, it is thinking as a single company. And Spain, it is helping us trying to improve clearly. So tools. So maybe you think that the tools, they are not technology. The tools, they are so important. And maybe there are some companies that they try to do some fiber deployment. And they fail because they don't have the tools and the processes. And Telefonica, it is an expert. We know that we are offering services. Fiber, it is an acronym. Fiber means, for sure, be working with the key vendors in the fiber capabilities, in the OLT capabilities. So, but fiber means tools, processes, and people that need to get the right training trying to do it. We are using mature learning. We are using so all the capabilities, and we are reaching the artificial intelligence, trying to get all the information that we have of our customer, trying to translate in the tools, and trying to offer a special so, experience for all of us, getting all the data, being used to improve the services that we are doing our customers. So we are applying for the FTTH, and we will for the 5G very soon. I go back to your example. So it is once you are going, to, doesn't matter which is the hotel, doesn't matter which is the, the home. The first question of a millennial it is, there is Wi-Fi. So maybe you don't know that you, do, you cannot have a call. But if the Wi-Fi is not ready or it is not so good, so something is wrong. And the people it is not asking if this is fiber or not. The people it is asking for the Wi-Fi quality. Let me give you some data. So more than the 80 or 85% of the total traffic that an smartphone it is doing, it is coming through the Wi-Fi of the home premises. And the second experience it is the customer it is always using the best experience in the network that he has. Wi-Fi versus 4G or 5G. It will be which is the best experience for the customer and will be successful, the best experience for the customer. So this is something clear for us. And this is because of that, that we decide that we were looking in the industry, looking the end-to-end -end approach of the fiber deployment, looking to the customer who it is the real boss. So what he's asking for us when he's asking fiber? He's asking for sure quality for the TV and the contents that we are offering, for sure, and we need to offer so a minimum amount of throughput. But he's asking a Wi-Fi experience at home. Doesn't matter which is the room when he is at this moment. And this is because we were looking what the industry is offering us. And the industry, to be, to be honest, it is just only looking for price. But they are not looking for quality. And this is because Telefonica decide once we are doing with the fiber, so we are not offering fiber at home. We are offering an experience of a digital capabilities supported by fiber at home. So we are fighting, and we say, hey, 
Telefonica 80% in the home digital because we can offer our customer and Wi-Fi absolutely unique when we are. And this means that we need to go for, to offer our customers so one single portfolio of customer premises equipment trying to guarantee that we are offering the best Wi-Fi approach doesn't matter when we are doing and doesn't matter which is the country with a single thing of uh, devices that it, they, we are applying in all the countries when we are operating and the initial experience and all the capabilities they were born in Spain so and have been launched for all the rest of the countries when we are operating. And today, Telefonica it is leading in terms of quality with the home gateway unit that it is putting together the ONT and the routing capabilities. And we are building experiences over our customers set up boxes with 4K experience. And we are building so home port or repeaters of Wi-Fi, trying to guarantee that our customer, if they are asking Wi-Fi, doesn't matter which is the room, we will be offering. For us, it is key that the experience, digital experience, means quality, throughput, and not only this. If you see what's the technology that we are building, and sorry, but we are leading. So, because we were doing this since 2012. So, with this, we are not looking for cost reduction, that finally it is coming. We were looking for quality, because the industry, they do not offer this. Once we have been building this kind of iconic devices, so today, so three or three years and a half later, we start with the deployment. We can guarantee that the incident rate using this equipment versus the industry, doesn't matter which is the best practice, it is going to be reduced than 43%. So this is innovation or this is efficiency. So you decide. For us, it is the quality of experience of the customer that has been growing. And we are going by the hand reducing the cost because we don't need to go to the customer premises trying to do nothing because the e device it is working properly. So the substitution rate compared this device with the rest of the industry, it is 82% below the industry. This is quality. This is not cost. It is quality by the hand of the innovation. So and finally, the installation team self uh, installing, so working very close to our partner with the contractor, so had been reduced in a 41%. This is not doing faster, it is doing better. And we are controlling all the chipset that we are introducing and all the optical component that we are introducing in this device. And I go back, this is not for uh, cost reduction, this is for innovation and quality. And we can guarantee that we can offer our customer an experience of 300 megabits symmetric or 600 megabits symmetric once we commercially decide. So in all the customer premises when he's asking for. And we are working in our labs and we are testing the main chipset provider of Wi-Fi. So working with 2.4, 5 gigahertz, and we will. And all the main functionalities that they are coming from the industry, we are testing and we are the first testing because we have a special agreement trying to achieve this. Because fiber, without this, it is not enough. We cannot guarantee our customer experience as we try to do it. And this is for Spain and this is for all the rest of country when we are operating. So there is a lot of discussion of 5G and, and throughput and latency, and uh, they can be substituting the, uh, uh, the uh, FTTH, so long discussion. This is not the moment. Because the FTTH it is growing and growing and growing. So, and we are adapting all the standards. So we are today in Japan, so, but we are working now in our labs, and we will launch it. We are technical really trying to do it. t 10 Japan, and we are working and doing the uh, 25 Japan. But, this is the access site. This is the access site. So today, all our operation, again, is starting for the capabilities and experience on the Spanish team. We are building our core, trying to guarantee that the evolution of the access capabilities by the hand of the LTE, 5G, and FTTH growing in throughput they can fully support all the traffic growing that we have, that it is going to multiply by two year over year. So, we are trying to simplify our operations. So, 
So we are very active trying to work how we can close our central offices. Don't forget that doesn't matter which is the incumbent operator. So our central offices, they have been built looking the copper attenuation, six, seven kilometers. So circle, central office. And this is one of our main assets that today we are managing, trying to close, following the regulatory issues, following the customer migration, and so on. We have a very stressed plan trying to close or switch off central offices because of fiber. So, and whilst we are doing a full commitment of the regulatory timings. So, we are trying to close one per day. So, maybe this seat is very stressed, but this is not enough. And we will be maintaining the rhythm. But this is the much more visible. Telefonica is doing a massive program trying to reduce the complexity of the transport layer, reducing the complexity, reducing the transport capabilities, going through DWD and trying to fully support. So there is what you can see, but behind, there is a still of activity, reducing the inventory and the complexity, getting efficiencies, and finally, getting assets, trying to guarantee that we can offer additional capabilities in the access for our customer. So Telefonica has a very bold plan trying to reduce the energy. So we have been winning, so the last uh, prices in terms of how we can guarantee that we are reducing the carbon consumption in all our uh, uh, operations. So, and we are leading because we know that the energy efficiency doesn't matter if it is applicable to the base station, doesn't matter if it is applicable to our central offices. It is key trying to guarantee the sustainability in the future of this uh, operation. So, and the last topic it is, we are managing the virtualization as we commit in the Mobile World Congress of Barcelona in 2012. So today we do not acquire nothing in terms of signalization or control. Doesn't matter if it is for the mobile or the, or the fix. So if this is not virtualized. So maybe this was a dream five years ago. Today it is a fact. And all the industry it is going for this, but we have our own program of virtualization that we are trying to industrialize, and this is going to be adapted. How we can guarantee that the virtualization it is a fact? Because with this, we can guarantee the 5G evolution in the next two, three years. So once we are doing a massive deployment of this, once the commercial and the spectrum capabilities, they can guarantee to the technical team trying to do it. So today, nothing in the FTTH, it is not going to be virtualized. If this is something that is helping trying to control and to manage the signalization. So fiber, it is more than technology. We need OLTs. We need ONT technology. We need customer premises equipment. We need all the vendors that you can see out. So getting all the new best practices. So we're acquiring in a global perspective. But fiber and technology, it is not enough. It is customer behavior, it is processes, it is tools. And if you're asking me how will be the key trying to guarantee the successful and how we can go close to the customer, it is using the capabilities in the tools, in the machine learning, in the intelligent artificial, trying to simplify how the customer it is doing the interaction with Telefonica that will be helping us trying to really do a massive and profitable operation. So this is what we are trying to do. So this is what we try to explain humble. But this is what we are doing, living when the technology is not. So being in a massive way when it is ready and we can simplify. So and this is what I try to share with you. So trying to explain when we are. So and thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>